Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, uh, we are going to see how to configure a default route. Here we are going to use uh, two routers, so 1941. Then two switches, so 2960. The number of PCs. Now we will rename these devices. Here we have R1, this is R2, here we have S1 and this is S2 and here we have these PCs, PC0, PC1, PC2 and PC3. We will connect these devices coming to connections, copper straight through from R1 G0 slash 0 to this S1 G0 slash 1. FA0 slash 1 to PC0, FA0 slash 2 to this PC1. From R2, G0 slash 0 to S2, G0 slash 1. From S2, FA0 slash 1 to PC2. From S2, FA0 slash 2 to PC3. Now we will add a serial interface CAD on these routers. Coming to R1, then we will switch it off. Coming to this module, we are going to add this high speed WAN interface card. Then we will switch it on. We will repeat uh, the same steps on this uh, router R2. Right. Now we will connect these uh, routers R1 and R2 using this uh, serial DCE. From R1, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to R2 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Now we will label all the ports we used on these devices. Here we used serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. The other and also we connected to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Then here we connected to G0 slash 0. Here also we connected to G0 slash 0. Here we connected to G0 slash 1. Here also on this S2 G0 slash 1. In this topology we can see total 3 networks. So we will highlight those networks. Here we can see one network. Here we can see one network. And here we can see one network. So we have total three networks. Here I given the network address for these networks. Uh, we planned uh, for network one we will give 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And for network two we given 192.168.2.0 slash 24. And for network three 10.1.1.0 slash 30. So now we will configure our networks one by one. So coming to the network one, here we can see the network address we planned 192.168.1.0/24. Yes, here uh, for this PC zero, we will assign this IP address 192.168.1.10/24, and for this PC one, we will assign 192.168.1.11/24. And here we can see the interface G0 slash 0 on this router R1. Uh, we will assign 192.168.1.1 slash 24. Coming to PC0, desktop IP configuration. Here we will give the IP address 192.168.1.10. And here we can see the submit to mask. Then the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Now we will come to uh, PC1 desktop IP configuration and here we will give the IP address 192.168.1.11.
here is the submit to mask coming to the default gateway 192.168.1.1 now we will configure ip address for this interface g0 slash 0 on the server r1 coming to r1 cli would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog no enable configure terminal we will set the host name as r1 now we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set the ip address 192.168.1.1 and the submit to mask 255.255.255.0 and we will give a no shot command copy running config startup config also we will verify the configuration show running config and here we can see the interface g0 slash 0 here we can see the ip address and the submit to mask also we can give show ip interface brief and here we can see the interface status here we can see g0 slash 0 ip address status and protocol both are up now we will verify the connectivity in this network one we will ping from pc0 to pc1 coming to pc0 command prompt ping to 192.168.1.11 and here we can see we are getting the replays now we will try to the default gateway ipconfig slash all and here we can see default gateway be configured in this uh, PC so here we will uh, ping to this default gateway 192.168.1.1 and here we can see we are getting the replies now we will ping from PC 1 to its default gateway ping to 192.168.1.1 and here we can see we are getting the replies now we will configure uh, this network 2 uh, here we can see the uh, network address we planned uh, 192.168.2.0/24 now uh, in this network 2 uh, we will uh, assign uh, the ip address 192.168.2.10/24 for this pc2 then also we will assign the ip address 192.168.2.11/24 uh, for this pc3 also we will assign ip address for this interface g0 slash 0 on this server r2 uh, here we can see that ip address it's 192.168.2.1 slash 24 first of all we will do it on this pc2 desktop ip configuration and here we will give the ip address 192.168.2.10 and here we can see the submit to mask and the default gateway 192.168.2.1 2.1 coming to pc3 desktop ip configuration here we will get the ip address 192.168.2.11 submit to mask then the default gateway 192.168.2.1 now we will assign ip address for this interface g0 slash 0 on this order r2 cli no enable configure terminal host name as r2 we will go to that interface g0 slash 0 and we will set the ip address 192.168.2.1 and the submit to mask 255.255.255.0 also we will give no shot command copy running config startup config now we will verify the configuration show running config and here we can see the ip address and the submit to mask for this interface g0 slash 0 also show ip interface brief and here we can see the interface status status and protocol both are up 
now we will verify the connectivity in this network too uh, we will ping from pc2 to this pc3 also we will ping to its default gateway coming to pc2 command prompt and here we will ping to 192.168.2.11 and here we can see we are getting the replies now we will ping to its default gateway 192.168.2.1 and here we can see we get the replies now we will ping from PC3 to its default gateway. Coming to PC3, ping to 192.168.2.1, and here we can see we, we get the replays. Now we will configure a network 3. Uh, here we can see the network address we planned for this network 3. Uh, it's a 10.1.1.0/30. Here we will set the IP address at 10.1.1.1/30 uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router R1 and uh, we will set 10.1.1.2/30 uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router R2. First of all we will do it on this router R1. Enable configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. IP address 10.1.1.1 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.252. No shutdown. Copy running config, startup config. Then we will verify the configuration, show running config. And here we can see that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see the IP address and the subnet mask. Here we can see the clock rate by default. Now we will do it on this router R2. Enable configure terminal. We'll go to that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And we will set the IP address. It's a 10.1.1.2 on the submit mask 255.255.255.255. No shutdown. Copy running config, startup config. Now we will verify the configuration. Show running config. And here we can see the IP address of this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see the submit to mask. Also we will give a show IP interface brief. And here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 etc and here we can see status and protocol both are up we will verify the connectivity uh, coming to this router r1 we will ping to uh, the router r2 ping to 10.1.1.2 and here we can see success rate is 100 percent Well, we completed uh, all the interface configurations uh, on these uh, routers. Uh, considering this uh, router R1, uh, here we can see two directly connected networks and uh, one remote network. And coming to this uh, router R2, uh, here also we can see uh, two directly connected networks and uh, one remote network. We will verify these uh, directly connected networks on each routers. Coming to R1, CLI. Here we will give a show IP route connected and here we can see uh, those two directly connected networks. And coming to this router R2, show IP route connected and here also we can see uh, the two directly connected networks. Now we will verify the connectivity uh, from this network 1 to this network 2. It won't communicate uh, because uh, this R1 is unaware of uh, this network, that is network 2. And R2 is unaware of uh, this network, that is network 1. Anyways, we will uh, ping from uh, any one of the uh, PC uh, from network 1 uh, to uh, any one of the PC network 2. We will ping from PC0 to PC2. Coming to PC0, desktop, command prompt, 
ping 2192.168.2.10 and here we can see reply from 192.168.1.1 destination host unreachable we are not getting the reply request timed out now we are going to configure a default route on the servers r1 and r2 we know a default route also known as the gateway of last resort is the network route used by a router when no other known route exists for a destination network while configuring this default route on this r1 and r2 we are going to use the exit interface so here on this r1 here we can see the exit interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and also r2 we can see uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 so first of all we will configure on this router r1 coming to r1 cli configure terminal here we are going to give ip root destination prefix we will give 0.0.0.0, .0. in the destination prefix mask also we will give 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. then the exit interface already we have seen that serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 We can verify the configuration, show running config, here we can see that, also we can verify the routing table, show IP route, we can give static here, and here we can see that default route. Now we will do it on this router R2. configure terminal IP root 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 space 0.0.0.0 space serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 copy running config startup config we can verify the configuration show running config here is that also, we will check the uh, routing table of this router R2. We have to give a show IP route. We will give static. And here we can see that a default route. Now we will verify the connectivity. We will ping from this network 1 to this network 2. Coming to PC0, command prompt. We will ping to PC2 and here we can see we are getting the replies. Now we will ping to PC3. It's a 2.11 and here we can see we are getting the replies. Now we will come to PC1. Desktop command prompt. Ping to 192.168.2.10. Sure, we are getting the replays. Now we'll ping to PC3. It's a 2.11. It's successful. So here every device uh, now uh, able to ping every other devices. Well, in this video we have seen uh, how to configure a default route. Here we can see all the show commands we used here. Also, we can see the interface configurations on each routers. This is for R1. And here we can see R2 configuration. And here we can see the default uh, route configuration we done on R1 and R2. Friends, if you have any doubt regarding this topic, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and share with your friends. And if you like to get these type of videos in future, consider subscribing. Thank you.